Good morning once again, prayer partners from the Church of the Good Shepherd here in Cashers, North Carolina. There are great signs of spring out there, but of course it is still Lent and we are still in this penitent time. And so we bring those penitent hearts, we center those penitent hearts now as we begin our prayers. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. And from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. And these words of prayer come from Jane Austen. Give us grace, Almighty Father, to address thee with all our hearts, as well as with our lips that thou art everywhere present. From thee no secrets can be hidden. Teach us to fix our thoughts on thee, reverently and with love, so that our prayers are not in vain, but are acceptable to thee now and always. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. Chapter 5. It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you, and of a kind that is not found even among the pagans, for a man is living with his father's wife. And you are arrogant. Should you not rather have mourned, so that he who has done this would have been removed from among you? For though absent in body, I am present in spirit. And if present, I have already pronounced judgment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ on the man who has done such a thing. When you are assembled, and my spirit is present with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to hand this man over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, so that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not a good thing. Do you not know that a little yeast leavens the whole batch of dough? Clean out the old yeast so that you may be a new batch, as you really are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore let us celebrate the festival, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle today is the Song of Manasseh. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made the heaven and the earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence because your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance for those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea, and I am not worthy to look up 
to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now, now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all of the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is forever and ever. reading from Mark chapter 3. Jesus went home, and the crowd came together again so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul, and by the ruler of demons he casts out demons. And he called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, the house will be unable to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. But his end has come. But no one can enter the strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly I tell you, People will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and brothers came, and standing outside they sent him and called him. A crowd was sitting around them, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and your sister are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Some different prayers today from our complete book of Christian prayer, which I love, as you know. This first prayer for those uh, who are elderly and infirm, and I particularly, after seeing some images from Ukraine, think about those who have added to that burden of being displaced or unsure of their future, which many elderly and infirm people are all around the world. So we offer a prayer. O God, look with mercy on all whose increasing years bring them isolation, distress, or weakness. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and the willingness to accept help. And as their strength diminishes, increase their faith and their assurance of your love. This we pray especially for the elderly and infirm in Ukraine. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> we have prayer, uh, used this prayer a lot uh, in the past couple of years as we think about COVID-19. And part of the prayer today will be a thanksgiving for prayers received and answered uh, as we have faced this challenge. But also now the challenge of war. And so I'll adapt it a little bit to have both of those things in it. Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, you have been our companion and guide, helping us to accept the challenge that COVID-19 has brought to this world, to our homes and towns, to this country, to people we know, even people we have lost. But through wisdom and diligence, 
we have begun to come out of this pandemic and for that we give you thanks for all of those who have worked in the supply chain to bring health saving measures particularly vaccines to us and we ask you whether it is this war against COVID-19 or the protection needed for the people of Ukraine to protect the healthy, to calm the fearful, to offer courage to those in pain and those who are helping others and risking their own lives, to embrace the dying as they flow into your love's eternal embrace, to console the bereaved and to support those who attempt to care for the sick and the dying. Enable us, even here far away from Ukraine, to offer our energies and our imaginations and our trusting in the mysteries of love to be united with and through one another in liberating each other from fear and disease. We offer these thoughts and prayers in the mystery of the loving that can and does bear all our woundings, whatever their source, through the spirit of love concern for each and every person. Amen. And lastly, for those who are homeless and refugees, be it Ukraine or other places. O oh God, you bring hope out of emptiness, energy out of fear, new life out of grief and loss. As Mary returned to mourn, yet found unspeakable joy, so comfort all who have lost their homes, particularly those in Ukraine who through the persecution of war and exile and being a refugee or deliberate destruction, give them, we pray, security, a place to live, neighbors who they can trust, to be with them a new sign of peace in this world. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for being here today in this time of prayer, and I look forward to seeing you next time. God's peace.